Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Oh my gosh, why do I always like... Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out something new that smells delicious, apparently, from L'Oreal. They have brought out an actual eyeshadow palette. Uh, wait, they've brought out eyeshadow palettes before, like the longer ones, I was really into those. I've just never seen L'Oreal do anything quite like this. So this is a peach scented eyeshadow palette. We've never seen that before, right? Uh, okay, we're gonna like skip on over what everybody is thinking. I actually feel like these colors are a lot different than the Too Faced Peaches palette. I don't know what the scent issue is gonna be or if it's pleasant or are we into it? Do we like that? Do you want your makeup to smell? It's just something in your brain is like, I wanna smell that. Like I, oh, root beer contour. I mean, like, can you imagine? There are so many different scents that could be put into eyeshadow or into your makeup that are totally unnecessary, but they do make it fun. So I'm curious to see if this actually smells like a peach. Let's do this. I have not cracked into this. Don't let me down. Smell good. I'm moving to the country. I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches. Peaches come from a can. Uh, this smells pretty dang good. And you guys, I have the other part of the collection on the way, but this is what arrived to me first from Amazon. I actually ordered this like a month ago. I saw it online and I was like, yes, L'Oreal has brought out something really fun and we need to know about it. And I ordered it and I just got it. And I'm sitting down and making this today. It comes with different looks that you can do like sweet spell, once upon a time entrancing flame. Like it gives you a one, two, three, four, and then they're numbered on the back. That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna follow those directions. I'm gonna go on my own direction and just do whatever, but she's rolling up her sleeves because I need to swatch this and see what the deal is with these shadows. I've been super impressed with L'Oreal products recently. The price on Amazon is $11.99. And if that is the case, that is actually really reasonable for what you get. I was expecting I thought, I think I paid more than that though. I swear I paid more than $11.99. I did buy a bunch of things together, so maybe that's why my brain is thinking that. But if this is in fact just $11.99 for all of these shadows and it's scented like a peach, I think that's pretty good. Let's see how they swatch. Mm. <sighs> okay, that one's kind of pretty. These are not really showing. Oh my God, you guys, these are not even showing up. Maybe that one needs some like water. All right, foiled, that one is gorgeous right here and actually very, very smooth. And you know how some shadows will foil really easily and others won't, that does foil very, very easily. This is a very neutral palette. These are dusty though. It's reminding me a lot of the City Mini palettes from Maybelline though, where they are dusty, but once you get them on the lid, they wear for a long time. Ooh, that one, ooh, yes, that is beautiful. Okay, that is super smooth and pigmented. So far, it's cute, it's $11.99, it smells nice, and I think these colors are neutral and fun. Some of them are swatching great, some are swatching horribly. Ooh, okay, that's nice. They have a really silky texture to them that I do enjoy, but I can tell you're gonna have to kick off some of the dustiness because they just have a little bit of that dusty feeling to them. But when I'm going like this with my finger, it does blend everything out really smoothly. Like that one's really nice and actually not patchy at all. And then we have this nice bronze shade down here. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> ooh. Oh, yes. All right, we are going to zoom on in and do an eye look together, and we're gonna see how this peach-scented Enchanted Paradise situation from L'Oreal wears all day long. So, uh, three, two, one, uncomfortable close-up zoom. Eyes are primed. I am using this Proof 10 Eye Primer from Made in Korea. Who is this by? but this is what I use to prime my eyes. Okay, we're gonna go in first with this shade right here. Ooh, that's a little, a little dusty. And see if that will even lay down any color at all on me. Not really. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this all over because it's just not even really showing up. You see? It's too light to really do any type of a transition for me, so it's just gonna be my base. Now we're gonna try to do what I initially just did, but with this shade instead. 
That one is not as dusty. I swear this formula feels so similar to the City Mini palettes from Maybelline. This is showing up really nicely, actually. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. A Little bit nervous, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit because it swatched a little bit patchy, so I'm gonna build. We're gonna start really light and build up the color. I am just doing my foundation work. I am laying the foundation work so that everything fun that we wanna put on top of this looks better. This is like the boring part of doing your makeup, really, because if you spend a long time blending here, everything will look so much better. But this is like, this, this is like the boring part. And I think I wanna bring that up a little bit higher. I'm gonna take a pretty fluffy brush, but it's tapered on the tip. This is a Bedillium Tools 783. Taking that same shade, I'm gonna go underneath the lower lash line. I'm gonna take a MAC 224 and see you guys, look how dusty this is. It's pretty dusty, right? And I was not dipping hard. This is blending out really beautifully, but just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go in here. Ooh, yeah, this, this is like almost doing the same thing that the Anastasia, look at this. Wow. I don't really mind the dustiness so long as it blends nicely and wears nicely. If it's dusty and it blends patchy, then like forget that altogether. Cause this is blending really nice. No complaints there. And the weird thing is you guys, like I'm not getting fallout. It's so dusty, but so long as I, it's not doing any fallout. Wow, it looks like every other look that I do. I know, I know, I have my favorite way of doing my eye makeup. It is what it is. I kind of want to take this bronzy shade like all over the lid and then do a really bright pop. I am going to dampen my brush. Ooh, oh wow. I probably didn't even need to dampen my brush. That's really nice. It smells like peach. I feel like I wanna take this one right here, this shade right here, and then take this shade right here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna try it dry. And I feel like I almost need to bring some more color into here because it's not meeting up. So I'm gonna take an itty bitty crease brush. I'm gonna go back into this shade right here and work on softening that edge. I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette and I am pressing that on the very, very outer edge. I am going to take my finger and I'm gonna go into this one right here and I'm gonna tap this on the lid. All right, that helped. Ooh, that actually looks super, super pretty. I'm gonna take an itty bitty brush right here. This is a Morphe E39. I'm going in with the very, very lightest shade and we're gonna go underneath the brow bone. I do still, I'm like being super complicated, but I'm gonna smoke up the lower lash line just a little bit more. All right, I need some liner and lashes, and that took about 10,000 steps, but I think this is a really pretty look. Yeah, we're just gonna see how it wears. Yes. You guys, I have new lashes I wanna try out. This is from Iconic London. These actually look like they might be really cute. Cute. I'm gonna pop these on, and I will be right back. You guys, everything blended really beautifully. Yes, there was a lot of dustiness to this palette and I had to kick off the excess every single time. But if you do that and you have patience, I think for $11.99, it's a great deal. I was able to create this look and I actually really super love this. I put on a little lacquer liner from L'Oreal and then I put on some iconic lashes that have no name on them. I'm gonna have to go on the website and figure out which ones these are because I really, really like this style. I think it's perfect with this kind of a look and a baby wing 
and this is like natural but bronzy and almost smoky and glam and I love it. I am wearing this lip powder from Koki in the shade Infamous. I love this on its own. That's what I was wearing during the beginning of the video and then right when I finished everything up, I was like, I feel like I want a little bit of gloss. So I put on this Plump Your Pucker lip gloss from The Balm and this is in Overstate and it just, oh, look, I mean like look just at the shine that it gives. It's so pretty. I actually really super love my makeup today. Like this is one of my favorite kind of a looks. I know it's so natural and some of you guys are gonna be like, when is she gonna do something with color and different? But ah, I mean, I really couldn't do that much of a wild eyeshadow look with that palette. So there is that. But yes, I love a good natural glam type of a bronzy look like this. And I hope this wears all day long. We're gonna find out. So I'm just gonna see you guys in a few hours from now. Hey you guys, so I have been nonstop decluttering, cleaning. I have been going through one of the hardest drawers to go through, which is my nude lipsticks. And my point is I've been busy, I've been moving around, I've been working up a sweat, it is hot here in California, and my eyeshadow has not creased, you guys. I cannot even believe this because the swatches were not that great. It was a little struggle to get this on, but I do like it. Like every time I look in the mirror, I'm just like, wow. You need to make this stop. Um. Wait, you took it away. You took it away. Sorry. The cutest little puppy in the world. Come here, come here, Pookie. Right. Brainstorm. Okay, which one does it say? Brainstorm or green needle? It says both. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna think green needle, you think brainstorm. Oh my God, make it stop. Okay, now it's reverse. Ah! It's freaking me out. It's witchcraft. Do you know what's weird? What? When I first started listening to it, it would alternate. It was going brainstorm green needle, so I thought it was tricking. Yeah. But now it's not. But now all I hear is brainstorm. Think of green needle. Can't yep. hear it. I can. What do you hear? I used to be able to hear it. Yanni or Laurel. Yanni. <laughs> I can't handle all these brain tricks. They're making me so lose my mind. Oh my God. Okay, it's dinner time. Me, my popped lash, my doggy, my James, we're gonna go pick up Mexican food. I heard green needle. You look beautiful. I really like your makeup. She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. I'm gonna chop my hair off. Wow. It's all falling apart. Gosh dang it. My eyeliner is like all over my face. I know. Um, I've been rubbing my eyes. I've had really bad allergies. I also was like laughing and <laughs> hand rubbing my eyes. And my lash popped off. Um, other events tonight, we had a late night run to CVS, came home. If you follow me on Snap, you know the end of that story because my dog, who is incredible and just so good and never makes accidents in the house. Like, I don't know what happened. He must have been super mad because he just like destroyed the front living room and James and I have been cleaning that up. Ooh. Anyway, what really matters is how the eyeshadow wore. I never even asked James to smell my eyeshadow, which I really wanted to ask him to do that, which is strange, but I'm curious if it actually is still scented like after it applies, you know? Like, do you, like I, I think of that I'm, I'm gonna stop. Okay, anyway, I'm looking down. I'm looking down. I really hope that this still looks good. I feel like when I look in the mirror for it being midnight, it's pretty good, but it's also midnight. So that is the end of this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you give it a thumbs up. I hope to hear from you in the comments. I also hope that you're subscribed. And if you're not, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I would really appreciate it. All right, I love you guys so much. Whatever you are doing, have a good one. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. I am doing an ultimate bad bin tour. I like went through everything, all of the products that I don't like. If you wanna see them in like a massive amount, huge collection style, then be sure to come back tomorrow. All right, I love you. And I hope to see you then. Mwah.